let them sound, sound and round and round. If you don't hear it, the rocks will reach out. Yeah. Speak up for the little ones Helpless and half abandoned They've got a right to choose life They don't want to lose I've got to speak up, won't you? Thank God Missourians can vote on their own constitution because I believe Americans, especially Missourians, are smart people, especially when they inform themselves on the internet about the real issues. Therefore, I strongly support a no vote on Missouri's Amendment Number 2, which I affectionately refer to as the Amendment to Missouri Constitution, which locks in billions in taxpayer funding for money-hungry, grossly unethical, and savagely poorly researched biopharmaceutical industries. That's what's going to happen. We will give carte blanche uh, permission. Uh, in our Constitution, no laws can be written against this, this activity by these biopharmaceutical industries. And the fact is that real stem cell research using cord blood and placental tissue, which has proven benefits, is being ignored at the, because it's, I don't know why, because it supports life? Whereas when they, when they grow little children, to two days old, call them blastocysts, and harvest pluripotent cells from these little human beings, they're not getting anywhere with that stuff. There's no proven forward motion with that research. On my website, I have a scientist's open letter regarding Missouri's Amendment Number 2, which backs human cloning. Uh, please check it out at atomsound.blogspot.com or youtube.com slash atomsound, A-T-O-M-S-O-U-N-D. And please, if you're in Missouri, vote no on Amendment 2. Thanks. Well, that lump of clay could be a human being if you wouldn't kill it, you know? So I just think it's really important that Christians, atheists, activists of all sorts speak out for the rights of the unborn. Really important. So check it out. So there's a great article at theweeklystandard.com by a Robert P. George. It's called Fetal Attraction. And it deals with all of the, the scientific issues regarding this research. You know, I have to say one more thing. The article by Robert P. George, Fetal Attraction, is eerily like the new movie called The Island. It's an awesome movie. It's one of my favorites now. Check it out. It addresses this very issue, so, for what it's worth. Do you know what I mean? Check it out. I'm going to have all these links on my website at adamsound.blogspot.com. Helpless and half abandoned They've got a right to choose life They don't want to lose They like to call them blastocysts. How'd you like it if somebody called you a blastocyst, okay? Adam Sound sounding at adamsound.blogspot.com Adams sing, Adams sound, put your ear to the ground, hear it sounding aloud. The universe is waiting for the revealing of the destined men and women, the children of God who make glad the Son of God in His eternal palace.